The point of this video is to show you how by using simple techniques in Photoshop, you can achieve a nice looking design. And I want to encourage you to try this as well. We have this nice portrait that I've downloaded from onsplash.com. It's a popular website where you can get photos for free. Using the pen tool, I isolated the model by drawing around the edges to create an alpha mask. Then, using the brush tool, I made adjustments to the mask to soften the edges where there's hair or redraw edges to give it a clean look compared to the solid color background. Then, I picked an initial color for the background layer and thought about a theme for the overall layout. Then, I added some text with a serif typeface. I had in my mind the cope of unimpressiveness, sort of like a theme, considering how the model is looking down after I've removed the newspaper from the image. Then I experimented with some colors for the color palette. At first, I thought about creating sort of like an old poster, but then I decided to go safe with a clean black and white along with two other colors. I've done a little bit of retouching to eliminate noticeable color differences in the model's skin. Then I start messing around with the shapes to have a general idea on how I want, it, I want this to look like. At this step, you can also use grids. Then I've drawn two lines along with two circles at the end of each. The bigger circle would go on the right side since the model's head is already inclined towards the left and I want to balance things out. Meanwhile, I've changed the font to a uh, sans serif because the serif font didn't seem to fit. Then I created a custom stripes pattern in a separate project that I've saved and then added to the collage. I've placed two shapes that had this pattern and move the text under the model as an extension. Then I, I noticed my project was a mess, so I renamed and organized the layers. Then I created some additional shapes to make things more interesting, including an organic shape along with a few real life objects that will balance the difference between abstract shapes and objects from real life. So I added a building PNG file that I converted to a black and white item through a gradient map. I removed the white edges of the photo and then started messing with the organic shapes. Then I added a telescope, PNG and a helicopter. The building is a representation of the society that puts pressure on us to be impressive and seek for affirmation. The helicopter is an aircraft that helps you travel fast, which highlights the fast paced movement that everybody's having in pursuit of impressiveness. And the telescope shows the fact that we have to look pretty far to discover that people are pretty much forgotten once they pass out, therefore unimpressive long term. Boring. Alrighty, that pretty much wraps up this video. These are the elements that I had in my mind when I started. One model, at least four shapes, at least one organic shape, at least two real life objects, a text, at least one pattern, and at least two colors. Thank you for watching and I hope this will encourage you to try to create a collage on your own. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.